And new research is giving families hope for their children with autism. And those findings were released today in Denver. The Mile High City is hosting a meeting of the U.S. Autism and Asperger Association. CBS4's Anna Alejo tells us about that new study involving hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Climbing into the chamber has become routine for 16-year-old Rachel Ringham from Boulder. Rachel has an autism spectrum disorder and her family was so motivated by its potential to help her, they bought a $15,000 portable hyperbaric oxygen chamber for their home. She's using words she's never used before and she's not in speech therapy right now, she's not in school, so I'm not sure where she's getting the words. Dr. Dan Rossignol is the principal investigator of a new study which found children showed significant improvements after receiving 40 treatments of hyperbaric oxygen therapy versus those in a control group. Had more language, sometimes had new words, that type of thing, or started putting more words into sentences. And um, we also found improvements in cognition, which means their ability to think, focus, that type of thing. In the beginning I was confused, but now I'm almost like getting smart again. Sometimes don't focus much because my brain has like a disorder problem, but now it's like organizing it. Doctors believe the hyperbaric oxygen therapy helps children with autism by increasing blood flow to areas of the brain which may have lower levels of oxygen than in typical children. Autism is the fastest growing developmental disability in the U.S. Earlier this year, the Centers for Disease Control announced its prevalence was 1 in 150 people, an alarming increase from 40 years ago when it was 1 in 10,000. Hundreds of families who are often told there is little medical science can do now turned out to learn about the research. Anna Alejo, CBS 4 News. And the autism meeting continues tomorrow at the Hyatt Regency Denver Tech Center. The hyperbaric oxygen therapy has also been found to help with sleep and intestinal problems often associated with autism.